Hi YouTube, um, Dreams of Violets again. I'm back to do prompt number nine. How did you get into that hobby? Um, it started when I was four, back in the 80s. How many people were alive in the 80s? Not very many, huh? Well, I was. <laughs> and um, for my fourth birthday, my dad got me a porcelain doll she was fantastic and her name was Arabella. Um, not the most practical gift for a four-year-old, but I loved her and I took really good care of her. And so after that, um, on Christmas and birthdays and stuff, I would get more porcelain dolls. And I think I got porcelain dolls up to around middle school, maybe high school, I can't quite remember. Um, and I do have, still have all my porcelain dolls but they're in storage. But I do have plans of taking them out and um, redoing them and rewigging them and all that stuff one day. But anyway, so fast forward to, um, well, when I was a kid also, I had a friend whose mom kept a lot of her toys from when she was a girl and she used to let us play with them. And I was like, oh, you, you can keep your toys and then have them even when you're an adult and and show you know your kids and play with them and everything she had um like original barbies yeah man like in the in the bathing suit and all that good stuff and um she also had two toy sewing machines and we used to sew or attempt to sew doll clothes and stuff for our barbies so that was something that i think had to do with my collecting also and oh, my friend, she also collected porcelain dolls. Um, then I was a late bloomer and I was secretly still playing with Barbies when I was a freshman in high school. I know, it was my like dirty secret. Um, but I wasn't playing with them like as a kid, like I was when I was a little kid. They used to have like a storyline and all set up secretly on the side of my bed so that when you walked in the door you couldn't see any of it yeah um but after that you know after like my freshman year I, they were all put away and i did have plans to keep them all but alas they got messed up in a flood but um fast forward to my mid 20s well i'm a teacher so my, in my profession, I was able to play with toys and all that good stuff all the time because I'm a pre-K teacher, so I'm in a classroom full of toys. So um, I never really ever stopped, you know, sort of playing with toys. But then um, in my mid-20s, I met a friend who was a doll collector, but none of her dolls were out because she, um, her husband thought they were creepy. She ended up leaving him, not because of that, but anyway. Um, and when she moved, she asked if I wanted to keep some of her, like if I wanted to have some of her dolls, cause um, she didn't want to take just so much stuff. Um, cause she was moving long, she was moving long distance away and, um, short of on a shoestring budget and everything. So she asked, she donated some to the school and then she asked if I wanted some and I said, sure. And she collected Barbies. Um, so that's what got me really started in collecting in like the doll collecting sense because most of them were boxed and um, I kept on a shelf, shelf. But then I started from that, I was like, oh, let me look into this doll and oh, let, uh, this Barbie came out. And so from there, I was introduced to uh, Blythe. And that is when really all the good stuff started. I, I fell in love with Blythe. I had to have Blythe. So I started collecting Blythe dolls um, and oh, they're just fantastic. If you don't have a Blythe, I mean, I know you guys are BJD collectors, but there's just something about that big headed doll with the weird changeable, changeable eyes. There really is. Um, 
obviously if you're into super realistic there is nothing about it for you but you know and so then from Blythe I got introduced to um to pull it pull up pull it however you pronounce it you know what I'm talking about and um they were fantastic and that's when I really started de developing um like huge intricate storylines I have like just notebooks full of their f stuff for their storylines um and that's also around the same time right like at the exact same time I started collecting pull-ups and um living dead dolls definitely not everybody's cup of tea I love them I love their stories and if you're interested comment um if you'd like to kind of know what my backstory is for my um for my living dead dolls because they have a whole story to um, all of them together um, and if you are if enough people are interested I'll do a video about that I probably do a video about that anyway because there's a couple of the next prompts I don't want to do just yet um, so if I want to keep making videos I'm gonna have to do them about something and so that's an idea um, anyways where was I okay Obviously, the next progression is BJD. I do not know exactly when I was like, yes, I'm now going to collect BJDs. Um, I do know the exact doll that made me know for sure I must have that doll. By the way, this doll that I must have, I don't have yet, but I knew that I had to have that doll. I'm going to have to have that doll eventually, and that is... A um, Eiffel House Tedros and the one I was just I must have is tan skin and I wasn't gonna um, I was gonna have it be that I must have him in tan skin but I actually like him in real skin too so one day I'll have a, t a Tedros in either tan skin or real skin promise um, but that is the one that made me know for sure that I wanted them now the thing is all those other dolls that I collected, the price, you know, sort of kept going up, but they weren't expensive as BJDs. So that was the one thing that I had to, you know, like, oh, can I do this? And so I started saving up, but I only saved like my change. I didn't budget it in. I already had budgeted in my doll collection into my, you know, into my budget um but for the first doll i just i don't know why i didn't do that but i was like oh i'll just save up here and there and then i'll get it so my first doll between I, i'd say i it was either 2008 2000 or 2009 when i knew for sure that i was going to start collecting bjds but i didn't get my first bjd until um November of 2011 so that's a long time in between um, but now I have four here are three of them one's away um getting her face up then I'll have all that four and I don't plan on getting any anytime soon um, but soon to me and soon to you might be different by soon I mean around my birthday I'm a summer baby I will either be um, well no I will then probably be doing because I'm pretty sure my next time I'm gonna do a layaway I've never done a layaway before I've all I've just paid out right for all my dolls but probably I'm gonna be doing a layaway possibly two for the two boys that I really want um, and my re one of my resolutions was to have the two by the end of the year really there's three boys that will probably be my next three dolls before I get any more girls just my list ah oh, characters they mess you up because then you're like I need a doll for that character I need a doll for that character they mess you up so I constantly am trying to talk myself out of that character or see if I can uh, character them in a cheaper doll and like oh would that be a good character for um, 
my pull-ups. You know, it's easier to play pay 70 something, 80 something, 90 something dollars than 400 dollars. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have quite a few characters that I want to share. Um, that's another qu another question. Would you be interested? Because I'm kind of interested in people's characters that they have that they don't haven't dolled yet, but they just know for a fact they have to find a character for that doll. Give you, people um, post in the comment one character that you've developed that you have to doll. You have to put in doll form. You have like you just have to. Um, yeah, because I'd love to know or make a video. Um, so I guess once again, I think I'm done with this prompt. So bye guys.